my Steffi solution is built on an AI model which has a 80 to 90 percent accuracy. Now, the fact that people can do this test, the Steffi uh, stress monitoring on a daily basis, the accuracy level goes exponentially up because they are doing it on a regular basis. Um, number two, I have the solution of the AI chatbot. Within the AI chatbot that we have created, there is human interaction. For example, my psychologist on the back end is able to monitor all the chats that people are having with AI. And there is a button that they have with every chat, which is called as a takeover button. My therapist, my psychologist can actually just click on a button and take over that chat if they think AI is not, you know, uh, AI is evolving. So it's not, uh, it's not like it's there yet. It's getting there. My de-addiction solution has an AI system built in where it is looking at the behavior of people that are doing the de-addiction program. What is the result that they are deriving from it? What all is happening? And then it pushes out, you know, better uh, features, capabilities and everything. So there are different layers. The accuracy, the usage and the functionality of each of these layers is being constantly worked upon by us in, you know, uh, in how the technology is evolving. I, let me not say that we have a perfect solution, uh, but we have probably the best possible outcome solution today as industry matures, as there is what I keep calling about AI as, you know, it's the, there is uh, data processing and there is the amount of data. As data processing speed and amount of data increases, my solution will automatically uh, continue to improve as well.